Is it available on your website? It's available at the bottom of this YouTube channel. You'll see it there. Incredible. So, I a duck. (laughs) (laughs) So, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, we have Faye in the building. Everybody has been crying out for another Faye video and... That's because they're not in the room, that's why. (laughs) They just see the best bits. They (laughs) didn't hear all the whinging. (laughs) I've done no whinging today. I have told Kirsty she can do what she wants. But she's she's regretting that. She's (laughs) regretting it. Massively. I am literally going to have the longest nails (laughs) that I've had on in ages. Because she's been a short girl. Yeah, I have. And you go and do the... Basic... (laughs) <laughs> and then you're going to do really beautiful designs. Yeah. So. That she's run by me, might I add. And I have had to approve. <laughs> Look at them. Normal nails. Normal nails. Don't look at my nails, please. Especially this one. Oh, wow. This oh, is. You can see the bruise. I know. Yeah. You couldn't see it on FaceTime. It's bad. So my hand, I shut my hand in the car door. This is what happens when you rush and your mind is too busy and you've got ADHD basically. Um, because you, you're racing, you're rushing and you shut the door with your hand still in it. Yeah, Not advisable. The Mustang is okay for those <laughs> concerned. Um, the finger isn't, the finger had to be x-rayed. I have got a picture. Uh, the nurse said to me, can't take a picture now. She was like, you'll have to delete that. So I just went and didn't delete it. <laughs> There's the picture. There's the x-ray. That's so naughty. There's the x-ray of my finger. I think it's really interesting Why though. Why did they say that you've got to delete it? But, do you know what? These are my records and I can actually request a picture of this at any time, so... It's just easy for you to have it. You're not going to then clog up the NHS. Exactly. <laughs> with your useless requests. So, yeah, I was like, I'm not deleting that. Just saying. So, I've got a dodgy finger. We're going to make your fingers look amazing with nice, long nails. Yeah. So, let's get cracking. Right, so, right, so... Right, so where's the right soap? Where's the right soap cup, yeah? No, the right soap cup's in the wash. Yeah, it's getting washed. It's in the sink. It's definitely not going to be washed by me, I can tell you that for nothing. (laughs) These new nails ain't doing no washing. No, doing nothing. So does Nick do all the washing up in your house? No, well, no, I've had basic nails on, haven't I? Yeah, but like from now on, from a little while ago. Oh, Faye will not be doing any washing up. Absolutely not. So right over with clean up solution, they've already been prepped because we've removed her basic <laughs> nails. Um, <laughs> we're going to sculpt these out. We're going to sculpt them to a number eight. Did you see how she politely waited for us to shut up mm. and then she carried on? It was very professional Me? that, wasn't it? Well, I can't talk over you guys. There's no chance of that happening. I don't even think I said anything. Did <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to do a stiletto. They're not that long, you've ripped the end off. But when you look at them, that's an eight. (laughs) Yeah, it's long. (laughs) It's long! It's not the longest you've ever had. No, it isn't. We had like some photos from last year. But. They were mahoosive. They're longer than you've had. Yeah, for a long time. Comment below if you think these are long or are these still basic (laughs) nails? Don't even. No, they're dead short, they're dead short. Next I'll be in for a 15. Absolutely not. So, when I'm sculpting a um, stiletto, I'm making sure that this is flat at the back. Because... Is that finger a crooked? Not the sculpting fork, my it, finger. So put it there. <gasps> I've not put it on properly yet. She so started already, for God's to. sake. No, it, I'm just... No, I'm talking about my imperfections. Finger. Oh, I'm there's talk- a lot. <laughs> oh, God. Is I'm talking about, about thank fingers. you, thank you, Ad. It is a bit wonky, but I just just I let me just of, let me show them. This is where I've written. Sorry. So you need a bit of all the correction. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. To make your finger look straight by having a slightly wonky nail. Slightly wonky, bit of a bunion going a bit on. That way, don't it? A little bit going that way. So we correct that by going slightly the other way. So we go slightly this way. 
But what I want to show the public is we're doing a stiletto because it's long. We don't want it to scoop up. We don't want it to scoop down too much. So because if you're doing a number eight all the way to the end of this, you'll able to get away with putting this flat. Depending on the shape of the person's nail, but you're pretty much going to get away with this flat rather than anchoring it down. Which is, we've done that in previous videos where we do shorter nails, but not for this one. We don't need to open the tab. We don't need to do any of that opening and lifting up. None of that shebang. Okay? But what we do need to measure is... Where we're going to trim this. So if you look the, right at this side wall... There's a little line on the form. There's a white line that is there. So you see that white line? I'm gonna I'm gonna use a pointy thing. Right, so can you see this line? Oh yeah. Well it's slightly lower, isn't it? Mm. So we're gonna cut from there. And then let's look at the other side. And it's pretty much the same on the other side. So I'm gonna use a little scissors and these will be kind to my hand because I haven't got to use this dodgy finger. They're very easy to use. It's like a Halloween finger. <laughs> I know. <it's... laughs> it does, it looks like something you would like make out of a hot dog. Mm. <laughs> oh bless. Halloween hot dog it's fingers. not very nice, is it? It's bless. not. When you told me what had happened, I did not think we'd be doing this. I didn't, later. nor did I. When Do you know I what he said? She messaged me yesterday saying I've trapped my finger in the door, but I can't wait to see you tomorrow. I was like, do I need message back and be dead sympathetic or do I need message back and be like, we're still filming. So, <laughs> so I was dead sympathetic and I was like, um, I'm gone, I'm gone. I'll read she the said, are, I'm you, gone. are you still doing my nails though? <laughs> <laughs> That's what... I literally... Be truthful. I literally mess... you. So I get a message. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. By the way, my finger is fudged. I trapped it in the car yesterday. I put in the car door with a <gasps> face and a... Whirly eyed emoji, and then put in the next breath, you're going to be able to do nails. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You no, know, oh, I hope you're all right, and all that. But yes, Ducky, I've done nails today, so we're good to go. But it does hurt. I put I bet and FaceTimed her. <laughs> didn't believe me, clearly didn't believe me. Needed the evidence. Evidence. <laughs> and then I'll tell you the message I had from Georgie, who's filming with us tomorrow. So Georgia said, are you okay, seeing your story? And I was like, yeah, it'll be okay, blah, blah, blah. It is hurting, but you know, it is what it is. And she says, do you want to cancel filming this week? And I said, no, honest to God, it's absolutely fine. Are you sure you're going to be okay filming? <laughs> That's not what gets and we thought, <laughs> We thought Georgia was becoming a bit of a fear, obviously not. No. So, Adam said, did you ask if she needed guns? Adam said, no, I'm going to tell you what Adam said. Am I Adam the said, I'm the only person who didn't ask. Adam said, well, if you wanted, if you didn't want film, you didn't have to go to that extreme. <laughs> ah, Adam! Adam! So I've had loads of sympathy. <laughs> so I thought, sorry to put it on Instagram, I've got loads of sympathy. <laughs> Did you get loads? Yeah. I had to cancel I a client. Zero, uh, so I used to play basketball and now I've had like my fingers. Which I'm still struggling to believe that you played mas basketball because you're not like 10 foot tall. No, but I was good. Oh, wow. oh the sass. But I used to get like, if you go to ca catch the ball and somebody just knocks your hand there, bang, crushes your fingers. I ain't playing oh, basketball on that ball. The amount of times I've dislocated fingers. Not with these nails. Like not broken any, but severely bruised ne them. Yeah, next desiccated and like, broken. day after, and two days after, that's when it gets bad. And then about three or four days after, it's fine. Oh, no, we were saying, you know it's going to get worse before it gets better. <laughs> yeah. I was like, cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Love you too. It's okay. <laughs> she, she's got... I was concerned. I really was. He was, yeah. We had to just... Way more concerned than fear. So I'm just cutting this smile line, because Faye does have a really high hypernychium. 
No, I didn't used to though. Oh no, well, before we started having nails done, it's because you've got nails on all the time yeah. that we've got this lovely high hypernicum. I've got really long, that, like, they are long, aren't they? Yeah. Can you remember how tiny you little <laughs> My little one used to be like a little, just a little. It was little. It's like my little toe. It's like tiny. Mm. So we're going to cut again here, where the natural nail finishes, and here. So we just, just outside, and then just on there. So we are just outside. So if we look at the overhead camera, you can see that the form sits no wider than the natural nail. And that's what you want. Okay. If we look at the side view, we come straight out of the side wall, straight to the tip, and it is straight with the finger or perpendicular, whatever you want to call it. I like the word perpendicular, to be honest. So you can see where that nail is going to be built on that sculpting form. So by cutting the form a little bit at the sides allows it to sit as narrow as the natural nail. And I've definitely still got a lisp going on. Oh no, you definitely have. Mm. Yes. So. Mm. What from? Are you joking? I can't even smile properly or anything. What? So I had my lips Topped up, yeah. Because she needs. Which you probably haven't noticed because they didn't. That's not. No, they're not. They, I only had 0.5. It wasn't nothing much. I wanted this line filled, and she said the best way to get rid of that is Botox. Right. She put Botox on my chin, and I can't. <laughs> your, your, your chin. My chin. Botox. Does that not filling. No, no. Botox oh, paralyzes right. the muscles. So now, I can't. I've got, uh, like, when I say certain words, I've got a lisp. Lisp? I've got a lisp. lisp. Yeah. All right, Mike Tyson. <laughs> so, and I can't, I can smile, but. Is it supposed to have got red a line? <laughs> <laughs> Note to everybody out there lower face Botox is not recommended. No. No. I've seen it do the alphabet, it's not pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> I did go to somewhere else than I normally go, to be honest, so, yeah. <laughs> Wait, we're doing that again. Anyway, <laughs> excuse a lisp. I think I sound sexy. You sound what? Sexy. <laughs> so when you were taking pictures of me at Scratch Star Wars and you're going, smile, smile, oh, no, no smile, no like a big and smile. Like, and I'm like, wasn't changing, I'm... and I'm like, I'm <laughs> smiling. <laughs> Literally, I did. I was like, come on, smile. And she was going, I am. And I was like, you're not. Because it's not my normal smile. it's not your normal smile, exactly. I'm thinking. See, I've seen you smile a billion times and I knew you weren't. <laughs> So three months, that's going to take wear off, thanks. <laughs> what if your list stays forever? If your list stays... <laughs> oh, no. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sculpt out with... I've got them using the um, Alicia Sculpt brush. And I'm going to pick up a bead. One, two, three. Of... Bare Boutte. I tell you, I was using our acrylic quite a bit last week. Oh, I've heard about this. I've heard I you've been doing... You and drop is really good. Is it really? I said that brush, whatever Adam's been using, is going to be jacked up now. Adam's bit. ruining the brushes now. Jacked up. So I'm stretching this down the nail. Right 
down the nail, down the form. And you can see I'm sweeping side to side, minimal pressure, minimal pressure, minimal pressure. And all the way to the end, pat pressing and pulling. And I've got one more bead here. So we're building that up and then you want me to move your finger while I'm sculpting and he's... I, know, but I didn't realise my finger was there. I, I know, I'm that. sorry, I, I didn't realise my finger... He was, the the you. You. he was given the direction to me, not you. He was given the direction to me, not you. I was given but it you, to Yeah, he was. Just can't get the models. Oh, I know, here we go. practice though, that's the thing. Thank you, what? Adam's team fake today. <laughs> he's team fake, he's normally not team fake. Yeah, you did show us your underwear, so... <laughs> So, anyway, it's not that kind of channel. Um, then I'm going to use strip tease. I like to combine the two. So does Faye. She likes the strip tease. Clearly. So strip tease, as a, it's slightly, ever so slightly transparent, and I like it at the cuticle. You don't have to do this. It's just how I like to do it. You can use one colour if you want. That's absolutely fine. Well, well, well. We didn't agree this multi-tonal. That, but Luke, but Luke, what I want you to what do is to me look at? at it. It looks like the same product. I've told her she can do whatever she wants. We've got a Fapex on there we have. because you know she's diva, <laughs> diva. And we're coming straight out. You can see and straight to the end. Oh, the sculpting form. I'm going to do exactly the same on this one, but I'm going to watch for the pinch on this nail. She won't forget because I will literally remind. <laughs> yeah. Kicking under the table like, get pinching. So what I'm going to do is pop one bead on, on the other nail, making contact with that natural nail, just to bridge the gap between the form and the nail. And then the rest will come straight down, just like we did on the other one. So pulling, pack press and pulling down, 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 I wish I could show her face. <laughs> you don't. I must have looked like... Yeah, we can leave that on now and it'll just do its pinching thing. I must have looked like the blueberry out of Willy Wonka then. <laughs> the Next bead. bead. Not so big. Because it's a long nail, I'm using three beads. Did you do this on the others? Yeah, you just you didn't. You didn't run it you by me. You weren't watching. Oh, here we go. You weren't watching, we weren't which was good. <laughs> Now you've got my full on So that attention. is bare booty and then this is strip tease. I'm sorry, you said that this wasn't about it not being for this channel. You're joking me with some of the names of them bloody products. <laughs> <laughs> is she joking? Well, to be honest... Talk about double standards. One of the girls... Uh, was it me yesterday she said, is that, is, is that gel polish really called that? Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. That's what we're doing. <laughs> like, absolutely. Yeah, we've got some odd names. What is Greek? Greek? What? There's one that's called G-R-E-I-G-E. -E. What is that? What? We have a gel polish. Do we? Yeah. It's one of the bridal things, I think. Greyish. 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 Gray gray what is that? It's a beige it's... grey. Greyish. Yeah, it is. Never heard of that. Yeah, right. You made that up. No, no, it's no, not. No, it's a actual word. Right, okay. But you couldn't get it when I spelled it. So greyish, greyish is a combination of beige and grey. Say like grey with an E on the end. Yeah, but with an I in between as well. 
Yeah. Sorry. Well, no, I've, I've put an eye in Greg, see. What? Well, my mate's called Greg and he's got an eye in it. No way! Yeah. Get rid of Edgar. Yeah, no, get rid of Edgar. Well, there's loads of different ways. You can do it with a double G. Greek. You can do it with a just... Greek. No, it's Greg. Greek. G-R-E-I-G is a common way to spell Greg. Right, okay. We need to have a look at this. Right, now we can pinch this. It's gone matte. So what I do is a test pinch and then you can... Put the pinching tool on, let that pinch. We come back to this one. I am gonna test, it's all it's all cured, it's all fabulous. We're gonna take the form off, and there we are. Can I listen to a pronunciation? Oh god, a pronunciation video of G-R-E-I-G. Go on then. Greg. Thank you very much. I'm oh here all week. God. <laughs> and now we put Greg. Oh my god, it's, just, it's, it's the same. Yeah. I didn't. I just would never have put an eye in. No, never. Never have put Scottish. an eye in. So it's a Scottish way of spelling it. Ah. Didn't know. Greek. <laughs> Greek. <laughs> Is that your Scottish accent? Greek. <laughs> Not Greg. Greek. Greek. <laughs> I'm gonna file these with a distractor on because of volume my lungs and. Because he's stiletto, we've still got like a really nice C curve underneath. So you can see the C curves. So we don't want to lose that. We want everything nice and straight. The reason the C curves are there because of how we fitted the form. So straight from the side wall to the very tip. Oh, sorry, Adam. And again on this side. Then we're going to use the 180 to go around the cuticle area. Pulling the skin away. So whenever you're doing this kind of filing around this cuticle area or down the side walls, make sure you're pulling the skin away because it, well, you can see better for one, and plus you're not going to hit the skin itself. So again, we're going to pull away. And cut it round, and my thumb is now there, it's like a bit of a buffer. So I'm hitting my thumb rather than the client's finger, and I can kind of feel how close or tight that I'm getting. You know, when some people, if you hold it here, or for one, the yeah, finger moves, yeah. you get movement from yeah. this knuckle, yeah? But if you pull away really tight, Put it in the vice grip, it's a vice grip. Yes, there was no movement from my finger off. You're in full control. You can do it this way as well. But I find that uncomfortable. It's all right with an e-file or if you're filing up here. But I do yeah, find, that I find this a bit easier. Presumably you get your own ways of doing things though. So like, just cause that's your way doesn't mean that, do you know what I mean? No, my way's the right way, okay. <laughs> but no, in all seriousness, then. So you, you, one of them yeah, things where yeah, you sort of you get your like own... Yeah, you might like doing it like that. That's what I mean. But that, of... for me, that hurts yeah. my wrist. Yeah. This doesn't. Some people will be different with that. But, so the filing routine can be exactly the same. You still need to pull away the skin. So what I want to do is make sure that these sides, as I look at it, are nice and straight. So I'm not actually doing this bit anymore. I've already done that bit. I'm actually coming up here. And I can see that it's nice and tapered. Notice how I move the finger to where I want it. So I've done those sides and now we need to marry all this together. And I'm rotating the finger 
as I do this. And then I'm going to check. Now I'm going to soften the apex a little bit. I know she wants a apex because she is fey. She needs a mountain. If she likes that shape. But it just needs softening a little bit. What grip file are you using? So this is a 100 grip file I've got on the other side of this. That's not the most, um, that's not the grittiest of files, is it? Yeah, it's the most grittiest. Oh, the 100 one is? 100 the, the coarsest file. Coarsest, that's what I meant. So, and that's what I'd use on top of acrylic if you want to sort of take it down, okay? But then I will flip to this 180. There you go, and you, ah, sorry, the higher, the number. Yes. The less coarse. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's because, if you think per, per centimeter or square inch, there is 180 particles. Yeah? But on 100 grit, there's only 100. So for 100 to fill that space, they need to be bigger and more coarse. Make yeah. sense? Yeah. So I like, did not know that. Really? You just told me something new. I didn't know that. So this that, is a 240 why. one. This is an old 240 one. So, so that's got 240, 240 little particles so in that square, square inch, inch or, whatever or whatever measurement it is. It yeah. could be square millimetre for all yeah. I know. But for, for instance, that's how you think about it like that. That square inch has 240 particles. This square inch has 100, so they have to be bigger to fill the area. So there'll be, there's more coarse to fill yeah. it, yeah? But they'll be finer because they're smaller with the higher number. Make sense? Makes yeah, absolutely. Sense now. So we're going to marry these together again. When you've got a long nail, you want to support that nail. So it's game over if you think you can wear long nails as well. <laughs> well, you just hold it a little bit different, I suppose. You still. I know. And we're going to buff that, make it nice and smooth. Beautiful. Now, design. So, this is something I want to show you because we normally do cuticle prep at the beginning. I've pushed the cuticles back, but I haven't used the e-file. And that's because sometimes it's actually more beneficial to do it after so you can really get in there and you know that your design is not going to be hindered by any cuticle. And also, if you've got any product in that cuticle, it's going to get it out. Also, another reason for doing it after you've done your application is if you, you've got a client that cuts really easily, especially after having cuticle prep with an e-file, then that extra bit of skin that we're now taking off, non-living, by the way, um, is a buffer. So it's like a bumper. Whereas now, we know we're not going to do any filing. So you get all that filing done. So especially like somebody like Andrea. Andrea has got paper thin skin. So that is something you need to look out for when you're doing a client. You'll look at the hands and you're looking at the skin. And you'll figure out, mm, should I do this um, if you're going to do an e-file prep? Am I going to do it before or am I going to do it after it? And this is something that I've recently started doing with my clients. Sometimes I do it after, sometimes I do it before. It all depends on how much skin or cuticle they have around here or how thin their skin is. You love this bit, don't you? Yeah. I think you like your fave. Yeah. I just think it just cleans up your cuticle and it neatens it up and... Yeah. Well, I know that when I put the design on now, I can get lovely and tight to that cuticle area. Can you just left it on? Some people do. Not everybody does cuticle prep with a new file. So oh, the white brush. The white brush, so we can brush all that away and really see. Just go, just go. 
what's going on. See if we need to do any trimming. So we've got a flapper here. We can use our curved cuticle scissors. And I don't have to use my bad finger. I can just... And we can get that flappy bit off. Oh, I could leave it there. You'd love that, wouldn't you? Yeah, love it. Already love it. See if there's anything else. Here. Is there anything that's white? Nothing that isn't white. Because it's living. Right, let's wipe that over with some clean up solution. Bit of clean up solution. Cuticle knife in there to release that. All these little tools and gadgets are incredible, aren't they? I know, they do a good job, don't they? They do! They help you so much. That's it. Years ago, you'd have like a little wooden stick. <laughs> I know, for jabbing you, wouldn't it? It's bonkers, isn't it? How it's like how it's evolved. Well, trying to make tools that make life a little bit easier and do a really thorough job absolutely i tend to use the nippers at the sides awesome 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 okay so we're going to put base coat on base coat is going to give us the maximum adhesion and that's what we want Keep that cuticle area nice and clean, crisp. Drag it down, really drag it down, super thin. Let the brush kick over the edges of the nail. That's gonna keep everything on for longer. I'm just gonna take off any excess off that brush and go over that again to make sure it's pulled. Super, super, super thin. Super thin, super thin. Spider Bay theme tune. And then once we've done all those nails, we're going to pop them in the lamp for 30 seconds. You do my thumb separate or? No, I can do this on your thumb. Pop me that in. So then we're going to use not just a nude. Oh, it's not just a nude, Jock. It's not just a nude. Going to make that cuticle nice and neat. Nice thin application. We'll do two coats of this. God, my finger has to really go down. Not down, letting you do what you want down, again. You're a down, nightmare. Down, down, down. Chrome Nick will be like, these are ridiculous. <laughs> I think he'll love them because you'll be able to tickle his black. No, no tickling. Absolutely not. You'll say, well, what have you had him not long for then? No, you're not going well, no, to say, back? well, I'll let her go wild and told her she could do whatever she wanted. <laughs> Totes regrets. <laughs> Tell you guys to eat. <laughs> that is ridiculously long. It's alright, man. Oh, it's not as long as you've had before. No, but it's longer than I came in with today by about no. a billion centimetres. Well, it probably is, yeah. Stay still.
in the lap. Right, palette. 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 On the palette, we are going to use number 38. So we've got Decky. We've got Eucalyptus. Gonna do these lines. And then this is a new colour called Pistachio. Pistachio. <laughs> Oh, that is gorgeous. Never seen you do that, I don't think, before. This? No. Really? Oh, all right, then I, I, I have. I have ever done this on tape before. Oh, oh thanks, <laughs> thanks. Got a bit of white out. Yeah, I, think you, I don't think you have. I've done lots of marbles on that, but not in this fashion. Okay. A new colour called Bridezilla. I think that would be Faye. Uh -huh. <laughs> Are you joking me? The big, the most low maintenance person wedding ever. She did like, she had a very low maintenance wedding. She did, she? yeah. Yeah, it costs about 100 quid. <laughs> really? Yeah, oh, I'm not even course. kidding. It costs £50 for the ceremony, uh -huh. £35 each to give notice, and we paid an extra £11 each for two extra certificates. So whatever, 50 <laughs> 35, 35 and 22 was. Wow. Oh, was what the wedding cost. And then we went to Dubai for two weeks. Uh, for next, the for next 30th and came back and we're like, we've had the best holiday, Nick's had the best birthday, Shara had the best birthday because we flew out on Shara's birthday. Mm. So I got married on the Friday, flew out on Shara's birthday, flew back on Nick's birthday. We had the best time. And then come back and we're like, oh guys, by the way. We got married. While we were we got married, no one was like, what? <laughs> So you obviously like, knew, but you just weren't telling anyone. There was only um, four of us. Yeah. So they, Drew and Shari went with I mean, us. we knew. You guys knew. because We knew. Christy, you knew you were the nails. That you literally showcased on Valentine's Day, which was the cutest yeah. in your life after all this time. Because bearing in mind that was the October, on the following February. Yeah. You did. You showed me, me wedding nails mm. as your Valentine's post. I'm going to put... A little bit of base coat in there as well. Right, so then we're going to go like this. Oh, this is giving me pains in my chest. <laughs> really? What is that? <laughs> then we're going to take the fade brush. <laughs> and we're going to scoop through. No! Oh my God. I feel like this is like a Marks and Spencer's food advert. And then we're going to let that come down the nail. Like this. Oh, I love it. Do you love it already? I love it. To create the marble section of the design. I've just realised you're doing the design that should have been on that. <laughs> I didn't know you wanted it on that. Did you not? No, you made that just one up yourself. shows how much your lessons to me. How does it matter what hand it's on? I was going to have this design on my ring finger. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Take the my Again, we'll do this one. I have never had this done before. No. No. I didn't think she had, yeah. No. That's amazing. I love it. That is absolutely awesome. So you get all these crazy marble lines. That's beautiful. I've never, ever had, had that before. Is it nice having something work on, like a, a bigger canvas? Yeah. It is, it's lovely. That looks incredible. Right. We weren't expecting that. I want you to cure that. that. Look. Yes. 
Oh, I'm mesmerised. Same again. And let that just draw off the brush. You can move it around. Don't over mix it though. Pop me that in, give that a, just to give it a, a bit of a cure. Cure. Let me scoop. Come on. Scoop it up. Scoop it up. And let that draw off. That might be my favourite one. Pop it in. They look amazing. Why have I not had long nails for so long? I don't know, because you're an idiot. Come on. <laughs> they look incredible. I want it on both hands, but I know you gave me like, we can't do both can't. hands. She's like, absolutely not. We, can, we can't, we can't. Okay. If it builds up, in one area, like on the edges, you can just pop a lint free pad on there and then roll it off like that and it'll take off any excess. Oh my God, to like blot, like a blotting pad? Yeah. Oh my God. So it's not too thick? Yeah. Wow. Pop that in. Oh, the colours. Then we're going to use gold boil. Very delicate this stuff is. It's going to use some tweezers and we're going to place this onto that sticky layer because we've already got gel polish on there. So we have a sticky layer. We want it to be a little bit broken. So we're going to do this around all of the little swirly marbly bits on all the nails. So now we've got all the gold foil on. I've added a little bit extra around this cuticle at the side because I thought that looked cool. Just, you know, very extra. And um, we're going to top coat now. So we're going to use the glossy top coat. This is going to seal the foil in and it's going to seal the entire design. Now the gold leaf foily stuff is really thin, so it encapsulates under the top coat very, very easily. Are you super happy with him? I'm super happy with him. I am absolutely, I am buzzing. Are you proper buzzing? I'm proper buzzing. They look mint. I absolutely love them, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. This is where the envy comes in. <laughs> because look at my nails. I just, yeah. Wow. No one's going to look at my nails and go, wow, they're gorgeous. People are going to go, wow, that's a bruised finger. <laughs> I 
love gold leaf I do. I think it just like makes everything look expensive. I feel like empty. you could just gold leaf well, everything. People go, well, people do do them with the edible stuff. Mm. So they like do like a, a hundred dollar ice cream, but it's just a ice cream cone with edible gold, gold leaf. They do it with steak, don't they? Yeah. You can have like these incredible steaks and like, what's his name? Salt Bay. Mm -hmm. And they're like covered in gold leaf. And they cost $5 million. Yeah. Right, put me down in the lamp. Right, let's get some oil on these now. Oh, I'm super. I am so in love right now. She's back! Tell us not went off and on with the back of the paramedics ambulance. <laughs> watch, watch when you're closing your car door. Uh, yes, I do! Yeah. Be careful when you close. No, Adam, I will totally be sure for driving around. Yeah. Let me driving anywhere. I'm not driving anywhere with these names. And exactly. not lifting no finger. No. No nothing. No. Just come with a warning. Do not operate heavy machinery. <laughs> wow. I love them. Oh, the shape. Oh, I love them. So there you are. I love them. I'm so happy. Can we put them in my fingers, please? Thank you. I'm oh, so happy. Do you need me to inspect him? Just joking. Just joking. Oh, joke. <laughs> She's, she says. Ah. Get out the door like that in a minute, won't I? I've got clients who think they're you and they pick at the nails and go, oh, No, I'm, no, you... what about this? And Luke. I'm like, ah, Luke. You're not a fake. No. 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 No one can take that crown. No. So there you are, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check us out Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. All that shebang. Take a dagger. Um, and yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. I love you. Ta da, duck. Yeah. Way too long. What are you doing to me? <laughs> <laughs> You're having them that long. They look amazing, they do. Oh, they? exactly. So shitty face. <laughs> they, hang on. Oh. oh. Can't do anything with these nails. Oh. Yeah. So she's throwing in the towel. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Throw in the towel. So we're going to do a design that includes marble, it includes all sorts of shebang going on. And we're going to use some colours that we've not even released yet. When are they getting released? I don't know. <laughs> Should we really use them? Yeah.